Okay, so I'm explaining the single line rappel setup. Um, I'm assuming that you've gone through all the other information on how to build a proper anchor and how to do safety checks on a harness. So we're going to focus primarily on just the rappel and how to set this up. The first thing you want to do when you're setting up a single line rappel is you actually want to isolate uh, one end of your rope. And you can see here I've done that. And I've tied a figure eight on a bite, or you could also do a retraced figure eight, but in this scenario, because we're clipping right in, figure eight on a bite worked. You can see my figure eight right there, and you can see that I've got the end tied off, and it's nice and clean, ready to go. Once you've got that set up for the rappel, what you want to do is you then want to attach your ATC device and your belay carabiner on an extension. And you can see as I back it up here, I have an extension of webbing going all the way into my belay loop on my harness. And so that, uh, that's how that works. Um, the main thing we're gonna focus on is actually this ATC setup. And you can see that it's in high friction mode, um, that the braking rope is going down to my braking hand, because I'm right-handed. You can see that the rope is actually hooked into the carabiner, and that's something that's absolutely key you wanna check. Um, it's also set up so it's closest to the spine on the carabiner, and that carabiner is locked. Those are the things you definitely want to check when you're doing this setup. And before you do any repelling, you always want to make sure you test your entire system. So to test your entire system, what you want to do once you're hooked in, is you want to make sure on the breaking end of the rope, you actually tie in a stopper knot or a figure, or, or in this case, an overhand on a bite. And that allows you the opportunity to actually lean back and test out your system to make sure it's good. You can see here in this system that I've set it up with just a single extension and I don't have any friction hitch. Um, if we wanted to do a friction hitch, all we would need to do is attach a second piece of webbing and I'm going to do that now. Okay, so once again, we've got our rope isolated at one end attached to our anchor with a figure eight that's been cleaned up and tied off. We've got our ATC device with the rope going into our belay carabiner on an extension and then as I mentioned we're going to be adding in on our braking end a piece, a piece, a, um, a piece of webbing uh, that's tied off in a friction hitch. In this case I've used a climb heist and I've attached it to my belay loop on my carabiner with a locking carabiner and there's the test. This is how you test your system again making sure you've got your stop or not we can pull on the friction hitch, we can pull on the rappel, make sure that it's going to actually move the way we want it to. Once you've done that, you've tested out your system, you're good to untie your stopper knot right here. And once you're untied here, you are then good to rappel.